This is Luca Grianti, have Correct. I said it right? Correct, yes. Uh, participant in the festival part of the proceedings here in Dallas. We were just talking about how many languages you know, mm -hmm. Luca. Yeah. Are because you on language number four or language number three? three? Mm -hmm. I'm, well, I'm, I can speak uh, fluent Italian and English. I'm bilingual, uh, but I can also speak a bit of French. And I'm trying to learn German, especially for next year, you know, conservatory applications, college. Uh -huh. I might move, uh, I might go to Germany. So. Well, but right now you're living in London? Uh, Manchester. Manchester. Manchester, okay. yes. I've okay. been living there since I was 11. Since you were 11? Yes. Wow. So, um, wow. It's like a music school. Uh -huh. So Cheatham School of Music. Okay. So, and how was your experience here? Oh, I, I've loved every every second here, really, because apart from the community concerts, the master classes, the private lessons, I really, I, I, I didn't think I'd learn so much just from listening to mm. other competitors, really. I listened to tried to listen to as many as I could mm -hmm. and really I learned so much like piano. But you you attend a music school yeah. right so is it just the the number of pianists and the, it's, the uh, for you? I don't know it's um, the prestige as well of the Clyburn I think mm -hmm. like and the fact that like some of the best 13 to 17 year olds worldwide are here competing and mm -hmm. the festival it's just inspirational I think mm -hmm. and uh, even when I practice it seems like my practice is more efficient, more high quality. <coughs> I don't know why. But, uh, it must seems be the like atmosphere. A more yeah. concentrated atmosphere, more correct, focused correct. atmosphere. So, what is a typical day like here? Or is there a typical day <laughs> at this? Uh, well, every day is different. But um, usually I wake up around uh, half seven, maybe, quarter to eight. Then I go breakfast and um, you straight away start talking about music. <laughs> like, music is. Uh, we always talk about music like in conversation so uh, some, like breakfast in the canteen in the cafeteria that's what we talk about straight away then we sign up for practice times usually in the lounge and um, then we can go to we can go to master classes mm -hmm. and uh, have, see like master classes learn from them and then at half two around half two we go to the auditorium to the mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I try to hear as many people as I can because um, really I learn so much mm. and uh, yeah, lunch and uh, dinner, you socialize with everyone, and that's quite fun as well. Mm -hmm. You know, Rachel and I have talked a lot about this. Um, one of the things we were aiming to do here at the Clyburn um, in the festival part of the proceedings was, mm -hmm. was to demonstrate to students all over the world that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. You know, that uh, as pianists, we're, we're so often in a silo by mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. practicing for five or six hours a day. And what we wanted to really drive home in this was that there are people like you all over the world. And so what, when you said that about we're going to breakfast at 8 o'clock and immediately we're talking about Amazing. music, that's the first thing and the only thing yeah. um, that no, comes up and coming. Thing, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, yes, it's definitely um, a very important topic, and no, it's nice to like share each other's experiences, and uh, we certainly lo learn a lot from from like our peers. So have yeah, you guys had any sight reading parties? That's what we used no, to. Not yet. Oh, no. not yet. But doing yet. four hands, you know, this is such a good opportunity with all these yeah, pianists. I think in a few days maybe there's a yeah. specific class ah. that they organize. Oh really? To okay. chain the music in four hands. Oh, that's oh, so wonderful. Cool. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. yeah. I mean, we all have iPads now, so it's so easy to you know. Pull Music. You know, sight reading parties are the greatest idea because the only way really to learn to sight read well is to do it. To do it, yeah. And the only way to to keep go, to learn to keep going when you're sight reading and not to self correct is to have to play with somebody else <laughs> and to have to right. keep going. I mean, I've never done it before with somebody else, but. Mm -hmm. Something oh, I'm you looking should. For, yeah. this oh, it's is so the greatest thing because you can both sound bad together oh, at the yeah. same time, and it's just and you're learning at the same time. And you're learning exactly. at the same it's so, time. It's so great. Yeah. I'm gonna try that then. Oh, definitely. good, good. Thanks a lot, Luca. Thanks a lot. We're Thank glad you. you're having a great time.